<laughs> this is I forget what date. June something. Fifteenth, sixteenth. These are my scarlet runner beans looking beautiful with the red flowers. And um, getting some beans of a different type right here. And here's a Mongolian sunflower growing. Hopefully, something won't eat it all the way. Malabar spinach, my Minnesota midget, hopefully if it didn't cross with a Armenian cucumber, I collected the seeds, looks kind of oblong, I hope it rounds out, <laughs> and here is a Benny Comida, Codema, watermelon. I've got a couple, three right now. And the gourd plant is here. And here. There's all kinds of flowers even coming across here and hmm, not sure not sure what that flower's from maybe the bitter melon this is bitter melon vine <laughs> this is a snake bean vine and this is this cucumber supposed to turn bright yellow really big see and these are mouse melon flowers they make a mini watermelon about an inch long and these are the black to uh, black beauty eggplant with pretty flowers and a long, slim eggplant is looking tall. My tomatillos are still not fruiting. Let's see, see the eggplant? The aroma tomatoes. Got a lot of tomatoes. The okra are getting big got some lettuce and cherry tomato drying tomatoes you're supposed to dry them and make sun dry tomatoes my pineapple tomato hasn't made any fruit yet the white grape white tomato hasn't but the jersey devil has a small fruit and i haven't gotten any german greens yet but the plant's taller than me this is a large barred boar babies here's another and this is the best producing right now, Thorn Burns Terracotta, which is supposed to turn a terracotta color. These zinnias are looking beautiful. And let's see. <coughs> Got some, these are my bush beans. And I got some forming, those are burgundy beans. Got some uh, 
tender beans. Let's see. A little bit. Here's a yellow bean. And there's a, some more zinnias. Let's see. And. <clears throat> These are going to be chocolate cherry sunflowers. These are pretty zinnias. These are shishito peppers, which are, you saute them, you blister them up in oil and Dip them in sauce. This is a black beauty tomato. When it gets big, it's gonna turn all black in the sun. This is black brandy wine hasn't produced yet. Black from Tula hasn't. Carbone, carbon, that's looking good. This is a black semen tomato, so those look pretty. Black creme, Paul Robeson, baby. Alma pepper, it's gonna turn red. There's the alma peppers. There's Pippin's honey purple but it's gonna turn honey and uh, there's celestia pepper uh, more Paul Robeson I planted four or five this is a Ukrainian purple looking big and a Brad's atomic grape and they're gonna be purple yellow red and green striped Here's a bush cucumber. Here's a buena mulata with purple peppers that change all different colors. And this is a black Hungarian pepper. It's gonna be purple jalapeno size. This is a five color Chinese pepper. And this are sun gold. Um, little cherries. Hmm. And this is a hot Hungarian paprika. And my jigsaw peppers looking beautiful. They, the peppers start out purple and then turn all colors and into red. There's a silver slicer. A burp bliss cucumber, baby. Purpleus, silver slicer, silver slicer, looking good. Got, hopefully this turns into a melon, a Kajari melon. Here's a baby Kajari, right here. And all the rest of the vine. Mostly cantaloupes, because you can tell when they're ready. And I couldn't do that with my big watermelons the last year. I cut open a couple ones that weren't ready. That's it. Oh, and purslane. I had a salad with it, and it wasn't bad. And some choy some. And it's flowering, so I should eat it. Thank you.